Well, the U.S. will award Intel with up to nearly $20 billion for chip manufacturing as part of the Chips and Sciences Act that breaks down to up to $8.5 billion in grants and $11 billion in loans in what Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo says will be the single biggest announcement of a grant to any CHIPS recipient. Now, shares of the chip maker are jumping on the news. You're taking a look at Intel shares, INTC, up by about 2.4% here pre-market. Uh, two of the highlights from this that Intel pointed out, they're expecting a benefit from a U.S. Treasury Department investments tax credit of up to 25% on more than $100 billion in qualified investments and eligibility for federal loans of up to $11 billion there, as we mentioned. And then it also kind of adds on to what Intel had already announced with their plans to invest more than $100 billion over five years to expand U.S. chip making um, as we're trying to kind of decentralize it away from what had been the fabrication process largely to this point of Taiwan Semiconductor uh, and some of the other global foundries. Yeah, this is exactly goes to what Pat Gelsinger has said here at Yahoo Finance, what he has also said on recent earnings calls, yep. just in terms of the direction of Intel going forward as the company does look to regain some of that momentum that it has lost here over the last several months. So the significance here, of course, is what this is going to mean more broadly speaking to the U.S. chip business here in the U.S. as many of these chip makers uh, rely more heavily on U.S. production thanks to the funding that they are getting from the CHIPS Act from the Biden administration. I think also, though, the question over the next couple of years is how quickly this money is going to be able to be put to work and how quickly we are going to start seeing some of the benefits from these investments. Because sure. this is something that is not going to happen, obviously, overnight. It's going to take years to come to fruition. So this is all part of Intel's plan. Not an exact surprise that we're seeing the stock up about 2% on this news. But like you said, it's extremely significant. It was $20 billion in total here with $8.5 billion in grants and then up to $11 billion in loan funding here for the future. And obviously, the ploy here to make the U.S. and many of its chip giants even more competitive on that global stage and bringing uh, manufacturing back here to the U.S., which we know has been a priority for the Biden administration over the last several years. Yeah, absolutely. Very uh, varied, at least in region right yeah. now. You got Arizona, New Mexico, Ohio, and Oregon. We were just talking about Oregon the other day. That was on a housing conversation, so separately, and I'll leave that to the side yeah, there. Well, more jobs are going to be created there, too. Yeah.